Endeavor OTC, it's your final voyage. This is both a sad and proud moment for your launch team and for America, but your legacy will live on. Mission success with AMS, a truly international effort. Godspeed, and see you back in a couple of weeks. Orbiter Test Conductor Mark Taffet from the United Space Alliance. Wishing the crew well. T minus three minutes thirty seconds, checking main engine steering. Chain is armed, how suppression water system is armed. Go for main engine start. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavour. Expanding our knowledge while expanding our lives in space. Houston Endeavour, World Program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston is now controlling. Endeavour beginning to uh, pull over onto its uh, back. The roll program underway as uh, Endeavour begins a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree. And standing by for separation of the solid rocket boosters. Down on the mid-deck of Endeavour, Drew Foistel and Greg Chamatoff. Foistel headed to the International Space Station for the first time. Vittori and Fink making their first voyage on the space shuttle after flying to the International Space Station aboard um, Soyuz spacecraft previously. Endeavour, single engine, Ops 3. Roger, single engine, Ops 3. That call indicates that Endeavour could reach a transatlantic abort site on one engine if it lost two of the three, although all three are still in good shape. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavour, press D'Amico and single engine Zaragoza, 104. Roger, press D'Amico, single engine Zaragoza, 104. Several calls there. Endeavour can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. The guidance system is controlling the engines to roll Endeavour to a heads-up position to optimize the air-to-ground communications through the satellite network. And main engine cutoff has been confirmed. Flight Dynamics reporting a nominal main engine cutoff. And separation from the external tank. Endeavour's Commander Mark Kelly now uh, firing the thruster jets to position the orbiter for uh, photography of the external tank. We did see a nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not... Okay, we're going to open the payload bay doors now. About nine seconds. But there we go. Start of payload bay door opening. Payload bay door is, uh, is uh, ongoing. It looks like uh, dual motor time. Uh, it's very interesting to work with uh, old shallow systems. And I need to say that uh, it's easier here in microgravity than it was in the, in the, during the training flow. Most of the 
most of the equipment here just makes sense. It's, uh, it is very intuitive and uh, happy to be here.